Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, New Boat Naturals. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you are watching from in the world. Welcome to another live stream. So happy that you're here. So today we're doing a cornrow updo on short natural hair. And yes, it's a freestyle, so we don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> we're doing freestyle cornrow braids on natural hair. Thanks to the two person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. Hi, Debian. Hi, Beverly. Hi, Everything Baskets. Hi, Cozy. Hi, Natural. Perfect. I'm trying to. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, ma. Hi, Jamina. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Nadia. I'm trying to pronounce that person's name. Hi Charlene, hi Colette, hi Olga. Hi Rosie. I miss you guys so much. So I'm here standing short um or see here. Hi, Antoinette. Hi, Letita. Hi, Jackie. How are you guys doing today? I wanted to come live this morning, but I was so busy. Usually when I'm so busy, it's at the end of the day, I really think about it. Oh, but I haven't gone live today. So I decided to come on here. Thank you, Charlene. Hi, Tanya from New Jersey. Welcome to the live stream. Ah, sorry about that clip. What protective styles are you wearing, guys? Currently, I'm um, deep conditioning my my braids. Yeah, I have to find a way to. Hi, chocolate pitney. I have to find a way to treat my hair even while I'm busy. So I'm gonna tell you what is on my hair now. Or is no, <laughs> but I'm wearing a steam cap, so that's okay. And this treatment cannot over process, so I'm good. Thanks to the 23 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. Hi, Jarnia, Jargia. So, Letita is wearing car nose to the back. Cool, I always like that style. My mommy used to do that stuff in zigzag all the time. Carnal with my hair to the back. Which I thought was really cute. <laughs> A long time I don't hear about granny plots. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we're in Granny Flats Connect. <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, 
Okay. Hi, Ellen. I'm using the shine and jam. Shine and shine and jam conditioning gel. That's what I'm using. The braider here. I like using this one because it doesn't flake. And it's not so harsh on the hair as several others that I've tried before. Hi Claudette. Hi Monica. Like I said, we're doing freestyle braids. So we're just parting and braiding as we go along. Our hair is freshly washed. And blown, blown out some, somewhat. about the noise guys and thanks to the 30 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far you guys are so awesome hi why mason hi eve i'm having a great day how are you so guys i tried the curls natural green tea on one of my clients here and i absolutely love the product it did do what it said it was supposed to do she can leave it for three weeks to a month depends on her thank you chocolate picnic Awesome, there's sunlight sun shining in the UK. That's good news. Make sure you take off your clothes and go outside. <laughs> Just kidding. I know it even though the sun is shining, probably it's still cold. I know it's probably still cold. Just imagine. I joy. It's eight minutes into the live stream. We're going slowly but surely. Charlotte. I miss you guys so much. Hi Pat. How are you? What's your Sunday evening looking like guys? What do you guys do on a Sunday afternoon? I'm assuming that it's afternoon all over the world, right? <laughs> this lady is very tall. Let me lower her chair. Okay, and let me put you guys out some more so you can see what I'm doing. Good. Either she's tall or I'm very short. I 
think the latter is true. I'm very short. <laughs> Hey George, when do you how often do you wash your hair? Number one and number two, try and use pH balanced product. But for the meantime, you can try use aloe vera and coconut oil on your scalp. That should help with the itching. Hi Rosalie. Hi Monica. Oh, I use my shea butter recipe. You can find that in my DIY playlist. African shea butter recipe. I wash my hair over the weekend with the plaques in. So, while I was taking a bath, I just wash it. But I didn't have a chance to deep condition, so I did it. I'm doing it now. And so I am wearing this plastic cap. I have some deep conditioner on it now. Okay, Rosalie. Did you guys get a notification? Or you just happened to see that I was live? Hi, it's Orna. Miss you too, my dear. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Jelly. I'm doing well. Aisha. Is your name Aisha? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Hi, Cheru. Is that Charuta? Okay. Hi, Eleanor. <laughs> Hi, Bonita. It is in my DIY playlist, so you probably can check it out from there. African shea butter leaving conditioner. Hi, Bonnie Banks. Hi, Diana.
And thanks to the 39 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> I had an awesome weekend. This is how far 16 minutes got us. <laughs> Christina, Jelly saying hello to you. Yes, she's here today, Jelly. Hi, Marilyn Oliver. The teacher is saying hi to you, Christina. white one Jackie make sure you use the white one or the, the closest color to white doesn't spoil that easily you can keep it for months it doesn't go bad like that it will melt if it's too hot but that's okay butter will melt naturally once you put it back in a cold environment it gets back it gets solid so don't worry about that too much Charlene or Charlotte. Hey Charlotte. Thank you. Is that Ladion or Ladion? I don't know. You tell me if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Hi Renee. So let's do the other side. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Turn here to this side.
That's awesome, Jenny. Hi, party playlist. Hi, Arnita. <laughs> Good afternoon, Marilyn. Marilyn Crockett. <laughs> So you can see what's happening right here. And thanks to the 48 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. Dark brown. But it all depends on how they made it. It's usually dark brown. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Caitlin. Thank you. No, I'm actually deep conditioning my hair, Bonnie Banks. Hi, Loris. Jamaican black castor oil is usually dark brown. I wouldn't say black as in jet black, but yeah. In the bottle, it may look like it's black, but it's actually dark brown. Right, right, ma'am? That Jamaican castor oil is normally black. Dark brown, not it? Yeah, it's not jet black. It's not black as in black. But we call it black Jamaican castor oil. It was usually a very dark shade of brown. And it depends on how well the beans are roasted. That's what gives it the black color. Hi, Blue. Donna Gilbert.
Hi, Bernie's. Hi, Lisa Forrester. Hi, Michelle. I need to do a video on how to grow your edges. I think I did one before. I think I'm overdue for a video like that because a lot of persons keep asking me about your hedges. Hi Shelby. Hi JW. Welcome one, welcome all, welcome to the live stream. So happy that you're here. And thanks to the 57 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys know you're so awesome. Just in case you guys want to see a, a variety of natural hair styles that you can do on your natural hair, you can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. Instagram is New Growth Naturals, Facebook the same. Right across social media platform, it is New Growth Naturals, all right? I tend to post styles here. I fit. Petty. <laughs> Hi, Vivine. I'm off Eastern Avenue, Vivine, in Georgetown. Hi, Rochelle. Thank you. That's awesome, JW. Hi, Zile. Thank you for the scripture. Thank you. Hi, Melinda. Hi, hey, Denisha. <laughs> I'm braiding her hair. That's what I'm doing. Jamaica oils is usually in my chat. They are in Jamaica. They make the real Jamaican black castor oil. I'm not seeing them today. But yeah. And there are quite a few places that you could buy. Hi Katrina. Thank you. Hi Avril. How are you? Hey Olu, Wanda, Milola. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Aisha. I've never used it before. Hello. Mm -hmm. I've never used um, Alma powder before. Look. 
Thank you, Melinda. Yeah. Melinda. I'm trying to pronounce your name. It's going so fast. I understand, but I've been so busy, I haven't gotten a chance to do any of those. As soon as I'm not so busy, I'll definitely go through all. My hands are usually like this all day, every day. And by the time I'm done, I'm too tired to even touch my phone. I kid you not. Hi Maxine. Okay, good night. Hi Angel. You don't want to leave that on your hair, Angel. Even when you wash it off, it still have that strong odor. You don't want to leave onion oil on your hair. On your wash day, use it as the pre poo wash it off. Put some lavender oil in it to help to mask the scent, but that's a very strong scent. I wouldn't advise you that you leave that on. Steven is well done, huh? Hi. Hi, Kai, Ed. Welcome to the live stream. So happy to be here. Hi, Gary. How is Steven doing, Gary? He's okay? Give him more Aki. The boy loves Aki. Like his mommy. <laughs> Give him more Aki if he wants more Aki. <laughs> Hi, Claudia.
Hi, Ethelia. How are you? Hi, Maureen. How are you? Is it blurry or are you guys seeing me clearly? Come out a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay. Thank you guys and thanks to the 76 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. <laughs> Veronica, how are you today? All right, so we are at the top and it's 39 minutes into the live stream.
I'm going to bring this a little bit higher so you can see what I'm doing. At the top. We're getting somewhere, guys. Evelyn, how are you? Thank you. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Elin. How are you? Hi, Evelyn. I'm trying to remember how, how much so far. seven so far. Hi JW. Desire, Danley. No, no, Donna. I won't work too hard. I work hard, but not too hard. Hi, Faleka. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and thanks to the 85 person that gave this live stream a thumbs up so far. You guys are so awesome. Hey, you know what I want to ask you guys? Do you have a, like a traditional meals that you have on Sundays? Like, do you have a Sunday meal ritual? For example, in Jamaica. <laughs> in Jamaica, on Sundays, we usually have rice and peas with any protein like rice and peas and chicken or rice and peas and oxtail or rice and peas or fish with fish, rice and peas with, yeah, anything like that. Yeah, like on a Sunday morning for breakfast, we like have callaloo or steamed cabbage or 
you know, something like that with fried dumpling or bread or boiled bananas and so on. What do you guys have? Yeah, what do you guys have on Sundays? <laughs> I just want to know all over the world what is your staple meal to have on a Sunday? What is it like? Do you have like one meal that you said, all right, on Sunday, it's just Sunday best, all right, you know? Hi, Charlize Taylor. Where in the world are you living? <laughs> Yeah, in Jamaica, rice and bean with any protein like chicken, fish, oxtail, curry goat, yeah. Oh, you're in Kansas City. I empathy. Yeah. Okay. Ecosimos. <laughs> the way thought it came from um Petty. It's growing nicely. <laughs> hmm. Your grandmother cooks soups on Sunday for Daker. Okay. JWC mac and cheese. Lillane. Hello, Lillane. Or is it Lillian? I'm not a soup person, but I love pumpkin soup and bean soup. I love soup. Well, I'm not an everyday soup person. <laughs> but if you cook a nice bowl of soup and give them a garage. Right. <laughs> Let me drink it. <laughs> I like my soup rich. I don't like I don't like broth. I don't like like yeah, I like my soup rich. <laughs> I almost make it like porridge, give me my alright. <laughs> my pumpkin soup, I'm a pea soup, well thick. I'm alright. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Naomi, that sounds good. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. After I braid it and twist, it's going to wear like that. <laughs> Devian, so she loves stepper's, stepper's soup. <laughs> That's what we call it in Jamaica. Chicken food for customers. <laughs> I'm doing well, Doreen. <laughs> lamb neck soup, I've never had that. Hello, I've never had lamb neck. I'm just using um, the Shine and Jump conditioning gel now. That's what I was using to braid her hair. Yes, yeah, she does have good hair. I've never had lamb next to. As a matter of fact, I've never had lamb. Uh, uh, Christina had lamb before? No. Christina never had lamb before. The client says, the, the, um, what's your name? Desari says to say hi to you, client. <laughs> hi, Lil. 
Thank you. There are lots of good blow dryers out there. I like mine with the comb attachment. I like the yellow bird dryer. But there is another one that I really love too. I'm trying to remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> it's very expensive but it's really good hi Gloria yeah I've never had lamb I don't think I've ever seen lamb meat before yeah I've never seen it before hi Sophia that's awesome Okay. Yes, I've had mutton. No, Desiree. Dandruff don't make your hair grow. Your hair grows healthy with or without the dandruff. But I hear people saying these things all the time. So it doesn't take me by surprise. Hi, it's really Mel. Me, Sophia. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. Okay. The next time I go anywhere, I'll ask them if they had have lamb chops. <laughs> That's before I become a vegetarian, a vegan, by the way. Because I'm planning to become a vegan. I doesn't just have not mustered up the courage as yet. I didn't even know that you just teach me something new. You didn't know some mutton mutton is lamb. Like mutton is sheep, like an adult sheep. Mm -hmm. We always think mutton was like goat meat. Mm -hmm. huh? Christina learned to, we never know. <laughs> what is fufu? Like I've never had, I, I always thought mutton was goat meat. Like curry mutton, I always thought it was like curry goat. I didn't know it was actually sheep. So mm -hmm. we, we eat it are Oh, so you have goat? That is mutton. Mm -hmm. Oh, that means some men are wrong then. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I don't know what fufu is. Oh, fufu is Ghanaian. Alright. So one of my Ghanaian friends have to cook that for me. Because I have no clue. <laughs> It's Ghana. It's African. Okay. Yeah. I'm learning a lot today. I really did not know that, guys. Yeah. Hey, Chalice. It depends on your hair and your work, your your preferences. There are so many different protective styles, but I can't give you particular protective style unless I know like your lifestyle. For example. Some people prefer a professional look because of where they have to work. Other persons care zero because, you know, they don't have to watch how their hair is done so much. So it all depends on your lifestyle and your hair texture as well. I flat my hair all year, all year round. <laughs> sometimes I do twists, sometimes I do other styles, but I can manage to flat mine.
Hi, Shauna. Hi, Yard Foods. How are you? What are you cooking for Sunday dinner today, Yard Food? Hi, Michelle's daughter. So, Yard Foods, what is your Sunday dinner like for today? What's on the menu today? This is not a food channel, but we love food around here. <laughs> Sunday dinner I had aki and saltfish with lots of cayenne pepper in it because I just love cayenne pepper and sometimes I just crave for it. I don't eat pepper every day but sometimes I crave some cayenne. So I had aki and saltfish with lots of cayenne with dasheen and sweet potatoes and corn of course. That's what I had for dinner. Faleka, let him wash his hair and use aloe vera directly on his scalp. Don't rinse it out. And then you can put coconut oil on it as well. But let him wash his hair often. You can get the apple cider vinegar in like two to three times for the week before he washes his hair. Spray it on for 15 minutes and then wash it out. Try to balance his pH. The pH of his hair and scalp. Try to use pH balance product. That will help a lot. Thank you, Chalice. Chalice. I'm learning Evelyn. <laughs> Fun facts. Let me tell you something. I've never cooked goat meat. I've never cooked cow meat. I've never cooked. What else I've ne never cooked? Yeah, I've never cooked. Uh, I've never cooked oxtail. I've never cooked rabbit. I've never cooked anything like that. The only meat I've ever cooked is fish and chicken. <laughs> Yeah, those are the only meat I've ever cooked. I've never cooked pigs. Hi, Juliet. Yeah. Hmm? Rabbit? I've never eaten a rabbit. You eat rabbit? <laughs> I've never, I've never cooked. Most of my life, I've been very conservative. Where meat is concerned. Yeah, I grew up like that. On Sundays, we used to have either rice and peas and fish or rice and peas and chicken. Mm -hmm. We don't know what it is like to eat. You know, have curry goat cooking at our house or ox or oxtail or goat or pork or, you know, no, no, no. It was very minimal. And I grew up that way. I just never go to the store and buy a piece of goat or a piece of cow to cook because it's just not in me. <laughs> Thank you. So we're finished with this style. So let me show you what it looks like. This is what the style looks like now. Let me turn her around. Yeah, rice and bean and chicken, Sophia. That we know. <laughs> rice and peas, we call it. And chicken. Rice and peas and fish. Listen, if, if mommy in a good mood and she have enough money, she will buy a fish. 
I and the fish that we normally eat is Banga Mary. <laughs> and that's what we could afford. <laughs> that's what we could have afforded. <laughs> because Banga Mary Banga never have any air. No. Yeah. And it just tastes and look one way. No, I never see Banga Mary head yet. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what mommy could have afforded, afforded and it was so tasty to us oh, as yeah. children. It was I really know. nice. <laughs> it was really nice. But snapper girl, you don't have to be rich and famous to have those those, those meat growing up. We never have them. <laughs> snapper is expensive commodity as a child. You did get snapper, no say somebody birthday or Christmas or some prince visiting the house. <laughs> we don't eat them good stuff there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, until next time, remember Jesus loves you, so be very good. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so I'll see you in the next live stream, guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.